Iowa City School Board President is telling us tonight why closing its elementary school in Hills may help avoid other district-wide cuts. The district is looking to make $7 million in cuts over the next two years. It blames the cuts on a lack of growth in student population and the implementation of the statewide private school voucher program that went into effect this school year. Hills Elementary School is in the community of Hills. That's about 15 miles south of Iowa City. It is the district's smallest school, has a minority enrollment, and also costs the district the most money per student. KCRG TV9's Brian Tabak spoke to the board president who says what happens at Hills will leave a big impact throughout the district. As parents pick up their kids at Hills Elementary School Tuesday, many said they worry about how long these doors will remain open. My son, he's going to get sad because he makes a lot of friends here. Elena Ramirez of Iowa City drives her five-year-old son the 15 minutes to Hills Elementary every day because she says it's a place that's helped him learn English. Now he speaks a lot of English and he can spell more the alphabet. Hills Elementary may be the smallest elementary in the district, but it's also very unique. Of the 140 students enrolled, 43% are Hispanic. That's three times the district average. That's why we like the school. They help him. So, yeah. The needs of the families like Ramirez's isn't lost on the school board president, Ruthina Malone. It's not a decision that any board member signs up to make to close a school. Fellow board members are already considering millions of dollars in cuts that impact teacher incentives, purchases, an administrative position, and canceling a professional learning day. Malone says keeping Hills open could have lasting impacts, potentially cutting 43 teacher positions district-wide. We already see some large class sizes in some of our buildings. We will see even more larger class sizes throughout our, our buildings if we have to let go. Whatever is decided, Ramirez wants what's best for her son to grow. If I have to change his school, maybe he can make more friends. In Hills, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News.